everybody, it's Crazy Fingers Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Oh my god, guys, it's been a while since I've done a reaction. So sorry I've been away from the screen. Um, it's been a very busy time at the moment, especially with work. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram and even Twitter, you would know that I recently got two promotions, which is pretty good. But at the same time, it's so annoying because it's taking so much time away from reactions. And I want to do an update video because it's been a while. Um, there are so many video game reactions and stuff that I've been doing recently that I'm still working on slowly, but it's just taking a little while, so I do apologize. But there is some new videos coming as soon as possible. Today, we are going to be reacting to the teaser for Mandalorian Season 3. Now, you guys know how excited I was and how satisfied I was with Season 2 of Mandalorian. Um, that was incredible, so good, and it reached every expectation that, or even above that. Like, if you guys go see my reactions, they were crazy. <laughs> now, Season 3 is on its way. It's coming out next year, I'm pretty sure. That's sort of like the window. Um, I will just say the one thing that has been disappointing is the reunion, I think, between Mando and Grogu, because, you know, like, after the Season 2 finale, like, it was a beautiful ending. That was that. And then it was like, okay, Season 3, we're going to focus more on, like, Din and also like maybe him seeing Grogu. Obviously that did change with Boba Fett. They did reunite there and it was a good re like good meeting up again with these two but at the same time it just I feel like there could have been a more impactful moment in season three if we had that. But anyway that's the only criticism I have about that. Anyway we're gonna jump straight into this reaction because I'm super excited. This is our first look at season three so let's jump straight into it. Before that please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more movies, TV shows and video games. So without further ado let's jump straight into it. Oh. This is the one that you saved? I love it. You are as its father. A clan of two. My God! But you have removed your helmet. Then you are a Mandalorian. No more. No, I do not accept. Oh. <gasps> Mandalore, I forgot. Your cult fractured what? our people. <gasps> Where were you then? <gasps> Did you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? I'm actually shocked by it because, I mean, not too shocked. I knew, like, the budget that they have for Mandalorian is huge, so, like, that's fine. But I think it's more just, like, the story. Like, how are they going to top season two? And already, I'm feeling like they will. Oh, God. The the ruins of Mandalore. Oh, my God. And the flashbacks we got as well to that, too. Like, when did we get the flashbacks? Was it in Boba Fett? I think it was. Was it Boba Fett? I forgot the conflict between Brokatan and also Din, where it's like the Darksaber, like who's gonna get it, who's gonna be the leader of Mandalore and like sort of rise up from the ruins that are there. So I feel like there's gonna be a lot of like inner fighting in that. Um, and then obviously the other Mandos, it's so nice because obviously we know that unfortunately they were hunted down and many of them were killed and exterminated. Um, and just now, Hopefully they'll be able to come out of hiding and they'll be able to be safe and then oh, all things will be good, hopefully. But yeah, I'm very excited to see more of example, like the characterization of Din. We've seen so much and 
it's been so well done for him as well. Like I said, like, especially from season one, he was sort of like this cold-hearted, and I always said this is not the best assassin or bounty hunter. He was sort of like is messy, I've always said that, or categorised him as that, but he's very, like, tactful in that way, he's very smart, but also he has a big heart, he's been through a lot, he obviously wasn't a Mandalorian from the beginning, he was picked up when he was a youngling, and became one, and then he was part of Death Watch, which is a little bit controversial, but at the same time, it makes it interesting, and also, I hope we get to see him sort of learn more about that and sort of, I guess, speak to the armor about it, even Paz Vizsla, who he fought in Boba Fett and also appeared in the first season of Mandalorian. But he did show up in the trailer, so I hope that Din and Paz have more sort of like, um, like talk, because obviously we know that Vizsla is obviously a descendant of the guy who made the Darth Saber, so that could be cool um, if we got more of him in the story. But overall, the visuals look stunning. Again, that visual of um, the the ruins of Mandalore. I'm so excited now because whew, that looks so good. And just in general, you guys know I love the Mandalorian, so hmm, I'm excited for that. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the teaser trailer for Mandalorian. So good, so well like thought out. I'm excited to see where it goes. And I'm sort of excited to go blind. Like after I watch this teaser and when the trailer does eventually come out, I think that's all I'm gonna try and look at because even now, like I've seen like how many trailers are coming up for certain things, I'm like, ooh. For example, Andor, there's another trailer that came out. I don't want to watch it because I don't want to get spoilers because it looks so good. And I am going to be reacting to that show no matter what. So I'll be making oh, I'll be making time on the weekend or even during the week, hopefully, to try and watch that show. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bangle out. Woo!